Welcome to the Moreno Valley 2018 State of the City. We are so pleased that you are here to help us celebrate the accomplishments we have achieved over the last year and look ahead to what the future holds. I'm Victoria Baca, Mayor Pro Tem of our city. I will serve as your MC for today's State of the City Address. Please stand as Pastor John Milhouse from Calvary Baptist, Calvary Chapel, Moreno Valley makes his way forward to lead us in the invocation. And please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Council Member Ulises Cabrera. It's an honor to be here today. Would you join with me in prayer? Uh, dear Heavenly Father, on behalf of all of these gathered here this, this morning, actually now this afternoon, I want to thank you for all your bountiful blessings that you have bestowed upon the city of Moreno Valley. Thank you for those who have chosen to volunteer, uh, giving of their time and energy for the benefit of our city. And thank you for those who are employed by the city of Moreno Valley those who give their expertise to help keep our city functioning as it should. Thank you for our chief of police and all the officers who serve under his watch. May you keep our police officers safe as they travel daily th throughout our streets to protect us. And thank you for our fire chief. Let all the firefighters under his watch, may you keep them all safe as they serve in our city. The police and the fire are our first responders. May you continually remind us to lift them up in prayer. Thank you for them. You tell us in the scriptures that we're to pray for those who govern us. And so we pray for our mayor and for those who serve in our city council. We know that they will not always agree, but may they work together for the betterment of our city. We pray for those who serve on the various boards and commissions Help them work together. And we pray for our schools, help our administrators and teachers to be able to connect with their students. And we pray for our schools, the elementary, the middle, and the high schools. May our students thrive and excel. And finally, we pray that the citizens of our city may lead quiet and peaceful lives as they go about their daily duties and routines. Father. May you keep our city safe and may it prosper. We ask that you have your hand on this state of the city gathering and may you bless the city of Marina Valley. Father, I ask these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, amen. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a true pleasure to be here with all of you. I hope you're enjoying yourselves so far and uh, it's a pleasure to welcome everyone here as well. Uh, if we can all please face a flag, and if you would join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Milhouse and Council Member Cabrera. This event would not be a success if it is without the Moreno Valley Chamber of Commerce, Chair Tina Covington of Altura Credit Union, President Oscar Valdepeña, and their dedicated staff. <laughs> they are true partners in our mission of serving our community. Thank you for your continued support and dedication. We would like to take this opportunity to recognize one of our residents whose zeal for shaping the future of Myrna Valley is undeniable. His high standards, innovations, and designs have distinguished Myrna Valley as a leader in environmental stewardship and sustainability. He brought us Skechers, a 1.8 million square foot next generation logistics facility recognized as the nation's largest LEED Gold certified building of its kind. He expanded it to include a cafe, providing shoppers with a delicious opportunity to take a break. He chose Moreno Valley as the site of the World Logistics Center, 
which will be the largest and most advanced logistics campus in the nation, encompassing over four square miles and 41 million square feet. It is anticipated to bring more than 13,000 construction jobs and 20,000 permanent jobs to our city. Mr. Benzivi, we are pleased to present you with the Champion of Change Award, a small token in recognition of the longstanding commitment to our community. Every year, the city awards the Champion of Change Award to a member of our community who has been a champion for progress in our city. This Pillar Shape Award represents the recipient's importance to our community. The pillar stands atop the values we hold most dear people, pride, and progress. Congratulations. It is now my privilege to introduce Mayor Exian Gutierrez, our first directly elected mayor. Mayor Gutierrez began his career in service to others as an educator, helping to shape the minds of our young people and guiding them toward success. His passion for service extends far beyond the classroom, dedicating himself to volunteerism through his church and youth program in our community, and now as our mayor. We as a city have benefited from his focus and dedication to lifting up every member of our community. Economic development and job creation are a priority while creating countless opportunities for our young people to thrive. He comes up with solutions that are creative, bold, and improve our quality of life. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Exxon Gutierrez to deliver the State of the City Address. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the State of the City Address. I'm really excited to have you here today. Uh, I want to thank the public officials uh, from across the county who have joined us today, members of the clergy, members of our business community, our educational, our nonprofit partners, the Marina Valley City Council, members of our city staff who truly transform ideas into reality. I'm sure you came here expecting to hear about the state of the city. You came to hear about the impressive number of jobs that have been created in our city, our booming hospitality, how we're investing in public safety, repairing our streets, and even building state-of-the-art cultural and uh, athletic facilities. I promise you will hear all of those things, but you know what? Much more. But first, I want to spend a few minutes taking uh, talking to you about an exciting adventure that our city is embarking on to help our residents attain an education and achieve their dreams. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. We all want to change the world. We also know that achieving that education is not an easy task for everyone. Many of us in this room, if not all of us, have faced barriers to receiving an education. I have. The barriers to higher education were too great to overcome for many members of my family. But with their support and, intense and my intense desire to learn, I overcame uh, many obstacles and graduated from college. And that's something that I'm truly proud of. But I wasn't done there. I continued to pursue my education earning my master's degree and my doctorate degree. Today, I am the first directly elected mayor of our great city. I have also been a special education teacher for 13 years and a reading instructor at Marina Valley College for nine years. You know, I spend my life breaking down barriers for many youth students. And I'm here to tell you about a bold way that our city is stepping up to help our residents attain their educational goals, and fulfill their dreams. We are one of just 35 champion cities in the 2018 Bloomberg Philanthropies U.S. Mayor's Challenge. Finalists 
in a nationwide competition for cities to change the world, nationwide, one idea at a time. And the challenge was this, come up with the boldest, most creative idea to confront your city's toughest problems. As soon as I learned about the competition at the 2017 U.S. Mayor's Conference, I signed our city up. Our idea is a bold one, that no one should have to choose between earning a living and receiving an education. For the majority of Marina Valley residents, formal education and career training stopped at high school, creating a barrier to advancement into positions with higher wages and greater opportunity. But to overcome this obstacle, we created a program called Moval Learns to help pay student expenses while they go to school. This helps students overcome the earn versus learn dilemma and advance their skills while still providing for their families. This idea, a bold one, the result of collaboration with our educational partners at Marina Valley College, has the power to transform lives of our residents and the very fabric of the city we call home. As a champion city, we received $100,000 to test and fine tune our prototype with the help of tailored support from innovation experts. We are receiving $1,000 stipends to working adults to pursue an education and technical training. That is what we provided to, to our youth. No strings attached. Over the last six months, we had so much to learn from them. Focusing on a core group of 40 Marina Valley College students, we learned about their struggles, their hopes, and their dreams. We learned about the pursuit of education and the possibilities it brings. And we learned that it is more powerful than hunger. We learned that education pushes the young mother to stay awake, to study long after her children have gone to bed so that she can be an example for her two girls. And we learned that education lights the path for the young entrepreneur to escape a broken home life. Moval Learns provides some relief from the pressures of making ends meet. Energy once spent on living paycheck to paycheck can now be spent on studying and writing papers. Energy can now be spent on learning and succeeding in the classroom. On Monday, last Monday, we submitted our final application in the hopes of winning the grand prize of $5 million to transform our right idea into reality and help even more students. And now I'm proud to be joined today by the members of the inaugural Moval Learns class. Thanks to Bloomberg Philanthropies and the city of Marina Valley, these students are now arming themselves with the most powerful tool in the world, and that is education. With an education, they have the ability to change the world. Let's go ahead and uh, give them a round of applause. We will uh, commemorate this moment with a photo. You can just stay up here for a moment. Um, we do have a, a surprise for you all. And I, uh, you know, truly I just want to say as the mayor of, of this city uh, with this project, I, I've been so happy uh, to, to champion, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being the teachers uh, to me, to the staff, to our community, and letting us know what the barriers are that students, college students face. But more importantly, not just letting us know what the barriers are, how to overcome them, the tips and the best practices to overcome those barriers. So for that, uh, Moval Learns and Bloomberg uh, Philanthropies will be giving you an extra $500 stipend each uh, today. How does that sound? All right, awesome. And we do have the checks here as well. <laughs> yeah. And I really believe that this money will be able to help reduce some of those barriers that you already face. You see, Moreno Valley is not just a city where dreams soar. It's where dreams actually become reality. Students join the ranks of the employed, Business concepts become businesses, and renters become homeowners. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the state of our city is not just strong, it is one of the most fiscally strong cities in the nation, as recently ranked by Fiscal Times. We are celebrating six straight years of a balanced budget. We have healthy reserves, and our sales tax revenue for the first quarter was up about 6.4% over last year. In fact, let's give a round of applause for that. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the Government Finance Officers Association honored Myrna Valley with its budget award for fiscal year 2017-2018, recognizing our commitment to providing our taxpayers with the highest quality services in the most efficient manner. Sound financial management practices does make a difference, and we're making a difference in quality of life each and every day. We're listening to what our community wants, and we're delivering. Earlier this year, the city surveyed our residents to find out what their priorities are when it comes to city services. We heard the same priorities over and over again, maintaining 911 response times, repairing streets, enhancing recreation and youth programs and opportunities. The community spoke and we listened. We are now investing millions of dollars in enhancing public safety, repairing our streets, and building state-of-the-art athletic and cultural fa facilities. We are continuing to bolster our economic development efforts to attract even more national, international, and even Fortune 500 companies. And I'm very proud to say as the mayor that we created 17,000 jobs in the last five years, right here in Moreno Valley. <laughs> 17,000, just let that sink in for a moment, 17,000. 17,000 people will no longer have to spend their lives commuting long hours to get to work. 17,000 people will be able to, get to spend more time with their families, enjoying the lives that they created right here in Moreno Valley. You see, our city is a city of doers. We don't just wait around for opportunities, we actually create them. Private development invested more than $400 million in new businesses and construction projects right here in our city. There was strong growth in the commercial, hospitality, healthcare, and industrial sectors. New business licenses increased by more than 10% this past year. Our hospitality industry is booming. The quarter project on the corner of Day and Eucalyptus will soon be home to a Holiday Inn Express and a Residence Inn. And right next door, Marriott is building a Fairfield Inn and Suites, providing our visitors with even more lodging opportunities than ever before. More than 4,500 businesses now call Marina Valley home, and it's easy to see why. We are there every step of the way, our economic development team, from the mere dream of starting a business, to recruiting the first workers, to even expansion. Our award-winning Hire Moval program provides businesses with incentives to hire Marina Valley residents, local residents right here in Marina Valley. Our businesses receive valuable breaks on energy costs, licensing fees, and assistance with job recruitments, while our residents also have the opportunity to work here from home. It's a simple concept, and it works. This year, Marina Valley proudly welcomed Hyundai of Marina Valley, our city's first newly constructed car dealership in more than a decade. From the second he set eyes on Marina Valley, Mike Brown, owner of Hyundai of Marina Valley, knew that he was not only investing in his business, but he was investing in a great community. Mr. Brown took full advantage of the Higher Moval program using the Employment Resource Center, to conduct employee interviews while his dealership was being built. With that help, Mr. Brown hired more than 80% of his workforce from Marina Valley. 80% of his workforce is from Marina Valley. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> you know, this is Hire Moval in action. 
putting our residents to work, and providing our businesses with highly qualified workforce. I'm proud to have Mr. Mike Brown of Hyundai of Marina Valley with us here today. He is joined by his lovely wife, Rosetta. If you could please stand and be recognized by the crowd. Congratulations on your new dealership and thank you so much for your continued commitment to our city, Mr. Brown and Rosetta. Thank you. And by the way, make sure to take a look at the vehicles that are outside. They're beautiful Hyundai vehicles that, and remember to shop Moval as well. We're not just putting Marina Valley residents to work. We are creating the workforce of the future. The global logistics market is estimated to grow 15.5 trillion by 2023. Our city is proud to welcome the World Logistics Center, a world-class business park that brings global companies, advanced technologies, innovative architecture, and 20,000 jobs to the region. The logistics industry is expanding, and we're expanding opportunities to meet those demands. Cal Baptist University's first satellite campus, my alma mater, opened in Marina Valley last fall, specializing in logistics and healthcare to address the region's fastest growing workforce demands. We're partnering with CBU to create a logistics degree, and Marina Valley College recently offered its first online logistics class a class so popular that demand exceeded all expectations. We are creating the leaders of the industry right here in Marina Valley. Thank you. And our partnerships with our educational partners have never been stronger. Earlier this year, Marina Valley was honored by the state's leading economic development group for the partnership in the Marina Valley College Promise Initiative. The program pays for the first year of community college for first-time students. The city is matching the college's efforts to pay for the second year of the program. More than 500 students have already benefited from the program. Thank you. The city's support doesn't end when Promise students become graduates, by the way. Our Hire a Mobile Grad Program encourages local businesses to hire recent graduates, giving them an edge on the competition. While we are breaking down barriers to education and helping graduates launch careers, we are providing working parents with the support they need to be able to support their families as well. The cities think together and Child's Place free programs make it possible for parents to work knowing that their child is in a safe environment after school. Students are exposed to an incredible variety of subjects, including robotics, engineering, language, performing arts, and even physical fitness. More than 2,500 elementary and middle school students were served last year and we were awarded a competitive federal grant to expand a Think Together summer program to 113 students at Edgemont Elementary. A Child's Place provides free childcare to Marina Valley families in need. Irma Velardes, a single mother of four, wrote a letter to the city earlier explaining what a Child's Place means to her and her family. I have no idea, she said, what I would do without it. Not only does this program provide my children with a safe place to be after school, helps keep them out of trouble, lends assistance with homework, and fosters a positive environment, it also benefits me financially as a working parent. Well, I'm pleased to have Ms. Velardes here with us today. Ms. Velardes, if you could please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Ms. Velardes, you and your children are our priority. 
While we are helping parents keep working, we are making the roads they take to work and schools smoother. With more than 100 million square feet of asphalt to maintain, our Public Works Department prides itself on same-day responses, repairing roughly 4,500 potholes every year. Over the next year, I'm proud to say that we are spending an impressive $11.2 million to repair our roads. And this month, we began repairing more than 105 residential streets and our most heavily traveled arterial streets. Cactus Avenue, Kitching Street, Alessandra Boulevard, and Eucalyptus Avenue will all see improvements by the end of summer. More road work is scheduled to improve over the, the next 12 months for those major streets. Enhancing the quality of life for all of our residents, businesses, and visitors is our top priority. Working together, we can make Moreno Valley the best that it can be. Working together is exactly what we have been doing with our local postmaster, which I'm proud to address, with the ongoing issue of mailbox theft. This is not just a Moreno Valley issue. This is not a Riverside County issue. This is a national issue that is ongoing. The United States Postal Service has been overwhelmed by the demand to replace mailboxes that have been damaged or destroyed by thieves. Our residents are frustrated and understood with the months that it is taking to install replacement mailboxes. To help address the backlog, our own maintenance and operations division began installing replacement mailboxes for the Postal Service. Dozens of Postal Service mailboxes have been installed and more are on the way. And by the way, I only know Moreno Valley as the only city that is doing that. Thank you. We also launched a pilot pro, uh, project to expand our citywide camera system to keep a watchful eye on Marina Valley mailboxes as well. You see, creative solutions are also helping more dogs and cats to find positive outcomes at the Marina Valley Animal Shelter too. In just five years, the animal shelter has completely reversed historical trends to achieve overwhelmingly positive outcomes. And by the way, I adopted my dogs, Lassie, a beagle mix, and Kayla, a Labrador, and I couldn't be more happy uh, to have them on my side. Creative solutions are also being applied to make our community safer. We put more police officers and firefighters on the streets. We added more deputies to keep watch over our neighborhoods. A new medic squad and its six firefighters are also helping to meet increased demands for emergency response times. In an emergency, every second counts, and we know that. When our residents call for help, our rapid 911 response times make sure that help is on the way and quickly. Every second counts, and so does every taxpayer dollar. That's why we have strengthened our partnership in managing oversight of police and fire service contracts ensuring that our residents continue to receive the highest quality services in the most efficient, cost-efficient manner. We're exploring options as well to integrate technology that targets gun violence and other violent crimes and even fireworks. This system would integrate with our ever-expanding citywide camera system, which keeps visual over our residents, businesses, and visitors. Our citywide camera system provides our officers with yet another tool to fight crime. And you know what? You can't argue with the results. Officers have solved thousands of crime and prevented countless others in our city since the system was installed in 2013. Let's give them a round of applause. Our officers aren't just enforcing laws, by the way. They are building relationships in our community. A couple recently experienced the compassion of officers firsthand after reporting a crime. The couple was at the Riverside University Health System seeking medical trip treatment. They returned to their car in the hospital parking lot only to find that their battery had been stolen. They called the Marina Valley Police Department for help. When the officers noticed the couple was temporarily living out of their car, 
They didn't just take a report and go about their day. They pooled their money to buy the couple a new battery, and then they installed it for them. These officers embody what it means to protect and to serve. I'm proud to say that we have one of these officers here today. Officer Senisal is here with us today representing all of his partners who helped this couple get back on the road. Please stand and be recognized, officer. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Senisal, for truly serving our community. Our fire department is also responding to nearly 20,000 calls last year, putting out fires, treating accident victims, and responding to medical emergencies. Our Emergency Operations Center is helping prepare residents for earthquakes, wildfires, winter storms, and other natural disasters. We are training residents through our CERT program to be prepared and to help their neighbors during an emergency. This year, we also introduced a new program called LISTOS, a basic emergency and disaster readiness public education program for our Spanish-speaking residents. Hispanics, if you don't already know, make up more than 60% of our city's population. And we need to make sure that every resident is prepared for disaster regardless of the language that they speak. Moreno Valley Utility is already making sure that the lights stay on. When MVU customers experience a rare service interruption, it lasts a fraction of the national average, an achievement which earned our city a certificate of e excellence in reliability from the American Public Power Association. It's no surprise that businesses have identified our electric service as an important factor in their decision to come to Moreno Valley. Our new online portal, Simplicity, works at the speed of business to make trips to City Hall a thing of the past. Business owners can now check the status of permits and other planning documents right from their personal electronic devices. Residents can even monitor the status of many new exciting projects, as well as code compliance cases and residential permits. And just this month, we expanded Simplicity to allow customers to pay for their permits online, saving them time and money. We have so much to celebrate here in Marina Valley. We're making the lives of our residents brighter one day at a time. Beginning this year, we began lighting the M on Box Springs Mountain in different colors to celebrate holidays, local events, causes. Residents can request the M to be lit up in specific colors for their particular cause or event. And you know what? The response has been overwhelming. From high school graduations and the 100th anniversary of March Air Reserve Base to even raising awareness about the issues our residents are facing, the M has been lit up every color of the rainbow by our very own electric utility, MVU. It's about community pride. And we're proud of our community. We're proud of expanding our library system. We are not merely expanding, we're reshaping the definition of libraries. In the words of former First Lady Laura Bush, libraries allow children to ask questions about the world and find the answers. And the wonderful thing is that once a child learns to use a library, the doors to learning are always open. Gone are the days of shelves filled with dusty library books microfilm readers, and silence. Our new generation of libraries are bustling, exciting spaces that embrace technology, nurture learning, and expand the boundaries of traditional library services. We opened the city's first library branch in December, bringing library services to the Marina Valley Mall and to more residents. And we gave the main library a modern makeover. Traditional library services still exist across our library system, and we've expanded our materials to include videos, CDs, and even internet hotspot devices to allow those residents free Wi-Fi from anywhere in Marina Valley. Students without Wi-Fi 
now have the ability to do their homework at home and job seekers have the ability to easily navigate the job market. The only requirement, a library card. Stop by our main library or the mall branch and you'll find adult crafting classes, multi-generational activities, and even drum and dance instruction. And we're offering more programming in Spanish than ever before. Our libraries don't just encourage our residents to read, they also support a lifetime of learning. While we're nurturing the minds and souls of our residents, we're also investing in recreational activities and facilities to strengthen their bodies. In the words of former President John F. Kennedy, he once said, physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body, it is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity. We showcased our $2.6 million soccer complex renovation at Community Park in June, unveiling a state-of-the-art facility which will host more than 200,000 athletes and spectators a year. The artificial turf features technology to keep fields cooler and our athletes performing at their best. Community Park will also be home to the Moreno Valley Skate Park, scheduled to open by mid-2019. This project is not something that the city decided we actually needed. High school and college students gathered these signatures in support of a state skate park and brought them to City Hall, actually at a council meeting. They asked, and we are making it happen. This is community-driven government. The students have been involved every step of the way from coming up with the idea to helping design the project. The, state, the skate park will provide yet another option in our city for young people to get outside, exercise, and test the limits of gravity. These proje projects just add to our impressive collection of parks, athletic fields, and multi-use trails. The city's first inclusive playground at Shadow Mountain Park provides opportunities for residents of all abilities to get outside and play. West Bluff Park offers interactive treasure hunts that connect users' smartphones. We're also in the early planning stages of building, which I'm very proud uh, to champion, an amphitheater to host concerts, our summer mobile movies and mobile rocks concert and even movie series, and countless other cultural events at this amphitheater right next to us right here. Thank you. We're making Marina Valley more livable, one skate park, soccer field, and amphitheater at a time. And we're lifting up our community in creative and exciting ways. Just last month, we signed an agreement with Marina Valley Unified School District to help special needs kids and otherwise at-risk students gain the skills and confidence to join the ranks of the employed. This program is called the Mayor's Apprenticeship Program Promoting Employment Development affectionately known as MAPT, and it will benefit at least 80 high school students who have mild to moderate special needs, are English learners, or come from families who are at a low economic status. Participants could work for an entire school year by participating in 12-week in paid internships in various departments across the city. MAPT is enhancing the career readiness of our, of our at-risk youth and developing positive, contributing members of society while meeting the local workforce needs. The concept is a simple one, but the impact will last a lifetime. Our Homeless to Work program, a partnership with the Salvation Army and Waste Management, is also already champion, changing lives. Participants clean up litter from city sites in exchange for job and access to support services to help get them out off the streets. I like to share a personal story of a man named Joseph. He came to the Homeless to Work program after selling his car, which he had been living in for the last six years. He was without a car, he was without a home, he was without a job, and mo most importantly, he lost touch 
of his nine-year-old son. Through regular case management meetings, it became apparent that he suffered from mental illness. He was extremely happy one minute and then tears in the next. Our homeless to work program took him to the doctor to stabilize him and he continued to show up for work, making Marina Valley beautiful one day at a time. Today, Joseph is a different man. He's living with his family. Joseph walks his son to school every day and now Joseph is under the care of a doctor who can help him stay on track. Counselors are continuing to work with Joseph on budgeting so that he can continue to pay rent and support his son as best possible. Joseph's road will not be easy, but he now has the support to change his life. I am honored that we have with us today Salvation Army Lieutenant David Kane, along with our Homeless to Work Program Coordinator, Vince Fredborg. Mr. Fredborg spent 30 years living on the streets. Now he is a Marina Valley homeowner who has dedicated himself to helping others. Also joining them is our new lieutenant, Jan Neget. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Today, these individuals are making this program a reality, and I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you. T together, we have accomplished so much this past year. We are improving the quality of life for our residents, our businesses, and visitors. We are creating the workforce of the future. We are putting record numbers of residents to work right here in Marina Valley. And we are reinforcing solid relationships with our school districts and business partners. And finally, our youth, our future. We have created a bold new program to help ease the burden of earning a living while pursuing an education. Now, before you leave today, I challenge each of you to help me spread the good news of our state of the city and accomplishments. In the words of former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Well, I believe in Marina Valley, and I know you do too. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again for having me, and thank you so much for being here at our State of the City. God bless, and may God continue to bless our great city. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what can I tell you? It's um, very um, good to be here in Myrna Valley. I love this place, and um, I wouldn't be anywhere else in the world. Uh, this concludes our 2018 State of the City Address. Thank you once again for joining us. May God bless you, and may God continue to bless the great city of Myrna Valley. Thank you.